Hello and welcome to another tutorial in XNA and in this tutorial we're just going to continue working on this. Uh, I'm just going to test to make sure that everything is working properly. I'm just uh, making a return state statement there just so I can uh, put a breakpoint. Uh, just going to test this to make sure everything's working properly and let's see if it's if it is. Okay, let's see. Seems not to be working. Seems to be trapped. Okay, I know the reason. Uh, we forgot to keep updating this new starting point. So what we have to do is after each time it adds something here we have to say new starting point equals uh, new starting point no actually equals gun database string dot index of and we want to find gun we want to find the closing tag of the gun and we want to start looking at new starting point so just say plus one for good measure and that will make sure it starts looking after the element we just searched so if we run this again it should work Actually, I forgot to do one thing. Uh, forgot to say if new starting point point equ equals negative one, then break. So we actually and put this while loop on top and copy this paste it here and take this and paste it right here and spell point right so now what should happen is it should uh, go through for the first time because starting point equals zero uh, look for a string that starts at the new starting point if a string does not equal nothing then then uh, it will add it to the list and uh, it will search for a new starting point and of course, if it did return something that was blank, new starting point would be equal to negative one, and next time it would not run. So let's go ahead and test this and see if it works. And it looks like it did. So I'm just going to check the gun strings, and it did not work. So test this again. Oh, forgot to. Uh, instead of equals equals, you just want to say does not equals. That was a dumb mistake. Okay, there we go. It worked. So once we have that, what we want to do is loop through each of those uh, strings and do something with it. So for each string we already have an s uh, variable no never mind for every string s in gun strings so this will loop through every string in gun strings and we're going to do stuff with it so uh, what we want to do is find its name ammo damage etc so we're just going to make variables called string name what else do we need I'll just do all the variables and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so now we have all these variables. 
Uh, and now we want to find each one of them. So string name equals get element uh, name in s and starting point zero. Actually, you know what? Let's go into this get element method and just say starting search point equals zero. And what this will do is basically say if you don't put an argument for starting search point, it's going to automatically be zero at default. So we don't have to put in an argument if we don't want to. So now I'm just going to copy this and paste it for each of these and just change the name. And the name is, is basically whatever we're going to call these elements right here. So you can basically just copy this name and paste it in here. Just make sure it's the same. That's the only thing. So I'm going to pause it and come back when I'm done. Okay, so now you probably notice I have a lot of errors now. So we can fix this by just saying convert dot to int for all the integers and convert to double for all the floats and then uh, cast it as a float after that. So convert dot to double and then cast the double as a float like that. So just copy that for all the floats and add another parentheses in the back parentheses in the back actually fire type is not a float it's a boolean uh, array so what we want to do is do like this uh, we want to make it equal we're going to put it in uh, brackets like this and have two commas here and we're going to do this three times because there's three booleans in this array or they're supposed to be and we're going to convert each one well actually we have to split it first so just say get element dot split and we're going to split it with a comma and for the first one put zero for second put one and for the third put for the second put one, for the third put two. And I'm just going to make a new line here so we can see all of it easy, more easily, easier. And I'm just going to convert all of these to booleans. So convert dot, I spelled convert wrong, convert dot to boolean. So that's why, so that way it's, uh, we have a nice boolean array. So I'll explain what this is doing. So basically what it's doing is it's taking this whole string right here. It's split it's splitting this the string with each comma, so it's making it into a, a string array. And we're taking the for, for the first uh, array of the Boolean index or the first Boolean uh, element, uh, we're taking the first element of the string. And for the second one, we're taking the second element of the string. It just makes sense. Uh, yeah, and then we're converting each of them into a Boolean so we don't have a string. So that's basically uh, all the information we can extract from it. And now we, what we want to do is add a new string. So uh, gun database dot add new gun data and we want to add a new name oops I'm just gonna say gun database gun db dot count and then so that'll basically just give it an ID according to how many it already has in there so if it has zero its ID will be zero if it has one its ID will be one etc so each one has a unique ID and its name and just fill in the blanks after this ammo damage bullet speed recoil spread rate 
modifier type. And there we go. Very nice. So I'm just going to test this real fast to make sure it works. We have an error. Okay. Just put an extra parenthesis here. So guys, I know this has been maybe a little bit boring because we've been mostly dealing with just data. Uh, but hopefully it should get more exciting later on. And so as you can see, it made a nice gun class for us uh, right here. So we can see all our stuff. So we got ammo mag, 30, bullet speed 20, all our stuff. So true, true, false, M14, rate 5, recoil uh, 0 0.02, spread 10, exactly the way in this XML file right here. And so we, well, when we want to make new guns, all we have to do is copy and paste and change the different elements in here, say, like, uh, I don't know, AK-47, AK-47. Okay, and now, now we can change and make a new gun just as easy as that. So isn't that cool? Uh, and then it's just a matter of loading different guns and things like that. And we'll get to that in future tutorials. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Please leave a rating, comment, subscribe, etc.